Hi guys, welcome back to Drinks and Design with Heather and Amelia, and today we're going to be dabbling in wine. Um, the bottle that we're going to be talking about this afternoon is Block Party from Kitsch. So, diving on into this wine from Kitsch, I'm actually going to read you guys what varietals are included in the wine while Heather pours us a nice big glass. <laughs> um, so, it is a blend of 70% Riesling, 15% Pinot Gris, 10% Chardonnay, and 5% Pinot Noir. Um, and let's let's taste it first before we talk about anything else because let's be real, that's what we're here for. That was a great, cheers. Mm, so starting off right off the bat, uh, it's got a nice sort of fruity notes to the smell. It's super, very light. Like Super light, smells a little tart. Little tart, a little bit like peaches. Mm. So like some stone fruit. I smell sour candies. What do you think? I smell sour candies, I think it smells really good. Mm. I also got really excited and went straight to sipping it. Taste wise? Fuzzy uh, peaches. Fuzzy peaches. Uh, I would say medium bodied, uh, sweet at the start. Uh, with again some of those peachy notes. Mm -hmm. Lime. Maybe some crisp green apple in there. Mm -hmm. Especially near the finish. It's definitely tartar at the finish. Where you get those citrusy notes. Tart. Citrus. Fuzzy peaches. Quite smooth. Mm -hmm. I would say with beer, I like to throw in a mouthfeel, so <laughs> doing that with wine as well. <laughs> the mouthfeel for this, I would say, is um, fuzzy. I would almost say soft. Soft. Oh, I went fuzzy. I'm going fuzzy. I'm sticking with it. Mm. Overall, very easy drinking. Mm -hmm. Very good sipper, but would also be good with light foods like a summer salad. Um, overall... Uh, as they told me when I first tried it at the winery, very smashable. <laughs> Great for a hot summer day, sip it on the patio. You and a couple friends could easily drink a whole bottle of this in short order. Yes, I would agree. <laughs> We've already gone through half the bottle already and <laughs> we've, only done, we've only poured two glasses. Um, so smashable is definitely correct. So Amelia, what would you say your vibe is for Block Party? This is a freaking party. <laughs> That's my vibe. <laughs> um, I also specifically wanted to mention what Kitsch had to say about what this wine feels like for them because I think it's accurate and anyone who has tasted it, I think you'll agree and anyone who hasn't tasted it, you're going to want to. Um, so they said that this wine feels like walking through a spring meadow and being blessed by the sight of a unicorn. <laughs> so this is a unicorn wine. Unique and one of a kind. Yes, 100% agree. Heather, you wanna take us into branding? All right. So this bottle is actually quite unique among Kitsch's other offerings mm -hmm. in that most of their labeling is in black and white and very simple. So this one actually has quite a colorful pattern background, but aside from that, the layout of the label is exactly the same as all their others. So even though it's different, it still feels like part of the same brand. And while Kitsch's bottles overall stand out on the shelf because their labels are so simple and they all sit there in a block, this one stands out among their products because of the colorful background they added to this particular label. Yeah, it draws your eye in it the second that you go into the Kitsch section within the liquor store. Uh, as far as their labeling in general goes, they use a serif font, which gives the text and the logo a little more personality than it would have with a sans serif, which is very important given how um, otherwise plain a lot of their labeling is. If it was a sans serif font on there, it would look probably too sterile, too plain, too ordinary. The um, serifs give it a little bit more of an elevation, a little bit more personality and character than it would have otherwise, especially the labels that are just black and white. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of typography overall, it's very legible and clean. 
And it really sort of makes that the focus. So the focus in, is usually the brand with their bottles. Mm -hmm. And speaking of brand, I wanted to touch on their brand voice. Um, specifically for this bottle, it's super, it, I'm obsessed with their brand voice. Uh, it's super playful. They use emojis in their description of this wine, which just makes it feel super approachable and it sets the tone for what you're about to sip. Um, and in addition, they have a fantastic social presence. So their social media game is on point. Um, they take you behind the scenes for, with the winemaking process, opening up for the season. They provide you with updates. They share releases. Um, and it really, as a consumer, you feel connected to the brand. So then when you go into the liquor store and you see Kitsch, you you naturally gravitate towards something that's familiar, friendly, um, and it, it pulls you into wanting to support that brand because you've, they've already begun to create that relationship with you through their so social channels. Yeah, I would say also their overall brand and voice is very millennial centric. It's very yes. much for your hip young wine drinker, not your stuffy old um, sommelier. Hoity -toity. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is very much about being fresh and young and a little bit edgy. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Uh, if you ever go to their location as well, it's fantastic. It's just a small little place um, in um, is it East, Upper East, East Kelowna. East Kelowna. East, and, um, We're very knowledgeable about location. -wise. Yes, I've only lived here my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> but um, it's up in that area, there's Google Maps. That's why yes. Google Maps is it exists. But their space has some really like it's it's quite industrial. But then they have mm -hmm. some really bright, funky artwork going on. Um, their view is amazing. Fantastic. Oh, it's so good. So it's like probably one of the better wineries to go get a bottle and drink at like at the location on the picnic table or grass or whatever because it just overlooks all of Kelowna and the vineyards and the lake and it's stunning. Yes. Uh, but yeah, overall their their aesthetic is very much sort of that hip young wine drinker and mm -hmm. both their space and their brand voice really sort of speak to that. Agreed. In conclusion, uh, in terms of taste and palate, this is light, citrusy, it's got a soft, fuzzy, sassy mouthfeel, um, and it's your unicorn, so go try to find it. In terms of branding, uh, they go very simple, but bold and clean and modern, and definitely uh, have that sort of young, hip appeal to them. Overall, um, probably one of my favorite wineries in town currently, yeah. and uh, Cheers. Cheers to Kitsch. <laughs> Do you want more great marketing, drinking, and design content? You can follow Highlight on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And then follow Drinks and Design on Instagram. See you next time. I didn't like the wave. You didn't like your wave? I didn't like my wave. Okay, well, I will keep my wave. It's weirdly awkward. It's fine. It's us. Heather, we are awkward. I know. It's on brand. <laughs>